Hello, Reward Coalitions. This is Ali Nassan. I wanted to share a quick question that came up online regarding the thermal testing of teeth prior to anesthesia in teeth with crowns. Okay, if you recall in a previous tutorial while I was driving or rather taking a train down to New York, I mentioned the best way to check for anesthesia instead of asking the patient whether they're numb in the lip and the tissues by actually pulp testing the tooth, which is the most reliable way of finding out if a patient is pulpally anesthetized enough for you to start work rather than drilling into the tooth to find out. A number of questions came up about how do you do this pulpal testing in a predictable manner in patients that have crowns. Now, um, what you need to do in these types of cases is to make sure that you use something that's adequately cold. So while using ice, you know, as an ice stick may not be cold enough to penetrate through some crowns, using endo ice, or even better yet, using carbon dioxide is probably the best way to make sure that the cold does get a chance to penetrate through the various layers of the crown and the artificial uh, you know, covering that you have over the tooth and through the dentin and actually stimulate the pulpal nerves. And of course, those are the A delta nerve fibers that are stimulated using the thermal testing, which will then indicate that you have a, uh, a tooth with an intact um, uh, A delta fiber uh, layer, which uh, is diagnostically tells you whether you have a situation which is reversible or irreversible. And in the case of just checking for anesthesia, it makes sure that the tooth that you have is adequately anesthetized. So, uh, you know, in the literature, there's been the question of where do you place the cold? But I have found that in teeth that have crowns, by trying to bring the uh, cold cotton, uh, not so much over the crown, but rather at the cervical area of the tooth where the crown meets the tooth would be the most uh, accurate reading. Furthermore, uh, in cases where there is a metal collar, putting the, uh, the cold Q-tip or rather a cotton pellet on the lingual aspect of the tooth, whether it's on the lower arch, on the lingual area, or on the maxillary arch in the palatal area, would be a more accurate way of getting the cold to penetrate through the tooth. So the bottom line is that what you want to do is you want to use something that's cold enough, which would be either at the very least endo ice, if not uh, carbon dioxide, put it on the lingual aspect of the tooth where there is a crown, and then put it at the cervical area of the tooth, and then allow it to penetrate in order to get the reading that you want to get. Of course, the whole purpose of this is not to shock your patient and give them a lot of pain. During the diagnostic stage, uh, when the patient is a numb, you want to have a very light touch because all you're trying to do is to find out if, the, if there's a sensation or not, but not rather you know, send them through the roof. But in, in the, at the second time for anesthesia confirmation then, at that point, you really want to have the maximum uh, kind of uh, response, uh, and that's basically using it on a cotton pellet. A cotton pellet is a better uh, means of uh, conducting the cold rather than a Q-tip that doesn't get quite as cold. So that's it, and also just rest assured that doing the cold test on the tooth doesn't damage the, the pulp according to the studies. So this is just a reversible change based on the theories that has to do with the hydrodynamic theory and the movement of fluids and dental tubules that stimulates the A-delta fibers and results into a response, a, a sharp response, as you would see with the myelinated nerves that are found in the A-delta, uh, you know, plexus of rash cow. Anyway, that's a quick little tip for you guys. I hope it was helpful. Put it on the cervical, use the coldest material, and then put it on the lingual where there is a crown, and that could hopefully give you the best response. And, uh, and that's basically it.